In today's smart money, for many, Social Security is the foundation of retirement income. But how much lifetime income could you be missing out on? The answer will probably shock you. We'll get to that in just a minute or two. I'm now joined by ABC7 financial contributor Brian Myro. Brian, your firm focuses on retirement and income planning for people entering already in retirement. How can they make sure they're getting the most out of Social Security? Well, Sam, we're happy to be here today. You know, Social Security is, in many cases, your biggest retirement income source. You wanna make sure that you understand your options. You know, the timing of when you elect to turn on Social Security is a big part of that. And you have to ask yourself, do you need that income early or can you wait and try to maximize your benefits? You know, Social Security benefits are a lot more complex than what most people think. And it's important to run a Social Security analysis and review this with a professional. And how do Social Security benefits affect taxes? Well, Sam, you know, even though it's already been taxed once, many do have to pay additional taxes on these benefits. Now, there's a quoting straight from the uh, Social Security website. They say each January, you will receive a Social Security benefit statement, which is a form SSA 1099. And that's going to show the amount of benefits that you received in the previous year. And you can use this benefit statement when you complete your federal income tax return to find out if your benefits are going to be subject to income tax. And they also have a calculator and more information on the government website. Now, benefits are based off your income level and if you are filing taxes jointly or individually. How much in lifetime Social Security benefits are Americans possibly leaving on the table? Well, Sam, you know, the National Bureau of Economic Research, you know, they've released a new report finding that most of us should wait until later in life to take our Social Security benefits. The study found that more than 90 percent of American workers should wait until age 70, but only about 10 percent actually do that. You know, optimizing your Social Security benefits would produce a 10% increase in the typical worker's lifetime spending. Now, by not optimizing their benefits, the median loss for the typical worker is going to be around $182,000 in lifetime discretionary income. Well, that's absolutely an eye-opening study, Brian. How do you help people analyze their situation to help determine when they should start claiming their benefits? Well, Sam, you know, you have to have a game plan for your retirement. And a big part of that is income and more specifically, your Social Security income. You need to know what your options are, are and you need to make the right decision prior to flipping that Social Security switch. You know, in most cases, once those benefits are turned on, they're turned on for life and cannot be changed. Now, one thing that we're offering today, Sam, is a free Social Security analysis for our viewers. And in this analysis, what we do is we identify the optimal time to take Social Security and show you all your options. And many times, this analysis is the difference in missing out on thousands and thousands of dollars in retirement. All right, Brian, thank you. And you can contact Brian at the number on your screen for more information. ABC7 Financial Contributor Brian Myro with the Myro Capital Management. Brian, thank you so much for your time. Sam, thank you so much for having me today.